All right, welcome back. So we've got a new patch in Starfield today. You can see where I'm at right here. I am in Aquila, and I am at the Ship Services Tech. That is important. Ship Service Tech is where you need to be. Let's get out of this, and I'm gonna come up and talk to him. And he has a new option. I'd like to purchase a vehicle. Okay, no problem. And that's where this comes up. This is our new planetary vehicle. It is 25,000 credits, so we're going to go ahead and purchase that. At this moment in time, the only option we have is color that I can find. Now, if you look over here, it has how fast you can fire, how much damage you do in armor. So, I can only assume... It's not a good idea to assume with Bethesda. I can only hope that we will have upgrade options down the road, but this is... I like how they did with the tires. That's smart. I mean, it is supposed to be a future game, and why would they have regular pneumatic tires or anything like that? I have not checked to see if it actually has any storage space on it. But this is your weapon up here. And you can change color. So you can do the standard things, just like you would with... Uh, that's good enough. We'll just leave that there, and let's do a white for that other. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Um, let's go back to the red. There we go. So now we got a little bit of a paint job on ours. Nice. So, let's go take a look and see what this is like. Oh, probably should go the right direction. So it is sitting right there, just awaiting for you. We'll take a little gander of it, see what it looks like. Let's see if it has any storage. So, drive... I don't see an option. I only see drive, that is the only... Let's see if I can get up here. Can I... Can't do anything there. Well, seems like drive is the only option. Alright, so let's get in it. So, right mouse. So, holding right mouse, we're losing oxygen. Okay. It is zippy, that's for sure. At least... So, it steers with the mouse. And it steers with the WASD keys. I would assume your uh, controller would be a little different. So it does do boost. You can boost up, but boost goes very quickly. And weirdly enough, you can steer in the air. Like, you can change where it's going in the air. That's interesting. Can I change my view? There it is. Alright. So we can do a first-person view. Man, it doesn't let us see all the buttons down there. That I seem that seems like an oversight to me. So s short. Okay, so it's the same. I will definitely have whatever I can figure out as a transparent PNG of this cockpit. It's gonna be a little tough with all the kind of like all the dirt and stuff around these. I may have to just go around this and leave it on just the vehicle portion. Which might look a little weird. Let me have this. Considering the vehicle itself doesn't have any dark... I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll figure something out. Yeah. There is our new vehicle. Land vehicle Rev 8. Uh, I will get back with you in just a moment. We're going to do some actual planetary tests. We're here on my moon Androphon in the Narian system. This one should be an interesting test because gravity is very low here. So, when I spawned in at my beacon, this thing kind of, like, drops out of my ship and lands right there. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> it's going to be really silly on low gravity places like this. Oh, that's... Oh, that's really hard to control. 
Is it only front? What the crap? That's, man, that is really difficult to control. Might just have to boost out of this, because... Alright, so, it's a nice rocky space, so let's see how well we can control this thing on this kind of... <laughs> Woo! Okay, that's that's gonna be... Yep, alright. That just happened. Come on, straighten out. No, not that rock. Come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Alright. God, this thing is so hard to control. <laughs> come on. <laughs> no, not that way. Not that way. Oh, come on. Okay, low gravity sucks for this thing. <laughs> Alright, big hill. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I want. Okay, that might work. Yeah, that worked alright. Can it climb hills very well? God, trying to... Man. <laughs> oh, God. It's too funny. Alright, alright. Let me try to get a... Alright, here we go. Here we go. There we go. No, no, no. Straight, 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 straight. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I got it, I got it. Oh! Oh, no. Don't fall over. There we go. Alright. Yeah, um... I can't even imagine the planets that have forests. Like, like, how the hell are you even going to get around? This thing is not, not very good to drive. <laughs> no, no. Almost fell. We can do it. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Okay, Here now here's a good idea. So, I'm a good ways from my base. Let's get out of this thing. I want to try something here. So now we're sitting here, we're in a way, we want to go back to the ship. What happens when we go back? So we're going to fast travel. Does the ship just, re sorry, does the uh, lander just reappear at our ship if we fast travel? No, that's not what I want. Exit my ship. Or is it stuck over there now and we got to go get it? Good day, Captain. What's up, man? Let's see. Let's try accessing my ship. See what that does. Because it's definitely not here. So. Q and T definitely probably eventually will be more. It would be nice to figure out how we can do anything with that. Alright, let's pull out. Okay, so I see no ship. Okay, so it shows my ship over there. Alright, so now what we're going to do... No, it's not what I want. So what happens if I want to get my ship? Let's do... Alright, let's fast travel. Doesn't matter where. Um, let's see. Here, I got another, uh, another point on this planet. So if I fast travel there, will the uh, lander just show up? Man, what? I don't even know why we do do this sometimes. Why am I way over there? So with boost that lasts a very, very short period of time, it is definitely faster. And I don't see the lander. All right, so let's go up to the ship and see if we have an option to... Or not... To, I don't know. To make it show up. Be like, hello, where's my lander? Are we actually going to have to drive that bitch all the way back to the ship every single time? Alright. Do we have something in here we can interact with? That would be for a ship? Or a lander? So nothing specific in the bay. Um... course we're on a different grid so it's not here all right so missions return fast travel to ship how 
How can we get the lander back? Yeah, that's a little interesting. Let's try a whole different planet. You know what? Let's go to a city. Let's see if spawning at a city will uh, bring our ship to us, bring our uh, lander to us. Because if you have to go back and get it every single time, man, that's going to suck. Well, what's going on here? Why are we loading so slow? All right. So we're back to Andrefin because Starfield crashed when I tried to go anywhere else. So is my lander. It's still over there. Okay. Since it didn't like there, let's go to Alpha Centauri. <laughs> Try to get something to work, man. Oh, this game. Alright. Landing area. No, that's just... Da, 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 da. Ah, screw it. Just New Atlantis. There we go. Alright. It's going to work this time, right? Alright. I heard something. There it is. Okay, so... We went to New Atlantis, spawned at a city, and Revit showed up. So, that's honestly really annoying that I had to go all the way to a city to get this to spawn here. Put down in the comments if you know some kind of a key command that I haven't found yet to respawn it if you've left it out in the wilds, because... Yeah, that's really going to suck if, if you have to always go to a capital city to get your vehicle back if you leave it out in the field for whatever reason, like having a hard time driving. Alright, thanks for watching.